Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture your VHS and digitize them using OBS. So the first thing you need to do is purchase one of these USB 2.0 capture cards. After that, you just plug in your VHS player or an old camcorder or a laser disc into one of these ports right here. Now the yellow is for your video and these two white and red ports are for your audio, left and right audio. You can also use the S video if you want a higher quality video. Now for that, you plug the USB port from one end to the computer. And after that, your computer will recognize it as a USB device. After that, go on your computer and go to OBS Studio and download the latest version. Once you have downloaded OBS, we're ready to capture those VHS and digitize them into a digital format. So let's take a look at the setup on how to capture your videos using OBS Studio. All right, so now you have OBS installed on your computer and it's now launched on your computer. The first thing you'll see is that there is a section called scene so you just it should automatically auto add a scene for you but if there isn't a scene click on add this little plus button right here now in the scene you're gonna have to add the source now the source is basically the video that is being captured from the usb 2.0 capture card and also the audio as well so the first thing you want to do under the source section is click on the add button and then video capture device now you can leave it as video capture device from a name as USB 2.0 uh, capture card. Okay. And after that, I just press OK. And then you click on the device that you are going to use. In my case, it shows up as a AV to USB 2.0. And you can keep it as a the preset fine. You can keep it as whatever it has already set. So now it's now seeing what I see from my VHS player. And basically, the capture card is capturing the source from the VHS. Okay, so now you can see right now, my the source that I'm capturing, you know, the screen is very small. So what I can do is just right click, transform, and then click on fit to screen. And then you get a more bigger picture. Um, I would recommend that you just do fit to screen rather than you know, stretch the screen because your image will look, your video will look very wide. All right, so now we got the video, but we also gonna need to capture the audio. So the first thing you want to do is go to audio input capture. Okay, and now select the same device. Now the device will be called USB 2.0 mic, and there you go. We got USB 2.0 mic right here. So this is the capture device. Now what you want to do right now is that before you hit record, um, if you want to listen to the sound while it's recording, you are going to have to click on this little gear button right here, advanced audio properties, and under audio monitor, audio monitoring in, in the audio input capture, you want to click uh, monitor and output. Now I also recommend that you uncheck these other boxes uh, basically these are multiple audio channels uh, given that you're using you're capturing a VHS I don't think you'll need two audio channels so one will be fine okay so now we have the audio input capture and we also have the video now now before you hit the record button let's go to settings and make sure these settings are applied to your computer no, as closely as possible. First thing you want to do is go to video and the base canvas and output scale resolution. You want to set it to whatever your monitor is set to. Uh, basically, this will help, you know, it'll help uh, have a smoother recording. Um, you don't want OBS to overload when it's recording. Otherwise, you know, your video will be choppy. And next up, you want to go to output, the recording tab. This is where you'll set your recording path. You could put it in the movies folder or any other folder that you like. I will recommend a MP4 file format. And also keep it at audio track, just one. 
Uh, the encoder, if you're on a Mac, you'll probably want to use the X264. On the PC side, there are other codecs that you can use. Um, but I think there might be some if you use an NVIDIA graphics or AMD. So use those if you have those graphic cards on your PC. And after that, I will set the CBR. And then the bitrate about 3000 kilobits per second. And also my CPU usage, I will use it as ultra fast. Hit apply and then hit OK. Another tip I want to share with you is that if you find your VHS, the audio from your VHS is very low and you can't really hear that well, what you could do is up that volume just a little bit higher to your liking. So you could click on the gear button again, go to properties, oh, sorry, it's the gear button, advanced audio properties, and right here in the volume section, you could fix, you could increase the decibel, maybe by like around five decibels depending to your liking so you just want to play around the setting and after that you'll probably get a higher audio quality than what you would get from the original source one more thing before you hit the record button you see this little mic slash aux uh, selection uh, this is basically the microphone input from your computer or if you have a mic plug into your computer before you hit record make sure you mute yourself by hitting this little volume button right here because you don't want to capture any other audio from your microphone while it's capturing the video um, from your VHS. So make sure you, un you mute yourself before you start the capturing. All right, so now you're ready to capture the video. So the first thing I would do is just press start recording and now hit the play button on your VHS player. So now the video has been captured and now you can look and watch the video wherever you saved it. So if you saved it in the movies folder, then go check out that file and it'll be right there. I got a question for you guys. Do you guys have any preferred software that you use to capture your VHS? Let me know in the comments below. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification if you want to get notified of new videos. And do you also want to record your vinyl players into a mp3 format? Well, I got a video right here just for you. Also, make sure to check out some of these other videos that we've been making.